Good evening Scotland, good evening social media land. I hope you are well. It is Friday the 27th of May 2022. I truly do not know where to begin with this one. Let's just say the man-child-in-chief has truly spat the dummy. Even though he is not receiving any more fines due to Partygate, the people of these lands, around 59% of them and growing, still thinks he should resign. And he is beginning to feel his unpopularity. Then, the alchemy of distraction did not work. Rishi Sunak's emergency relief for the cost of living and energy crisis is so transparently timed to coincide with the Sue Gray report that it's a joke. People can see the Tory tactics of we better do something to appease the mob and we look on with disgust. The money will be a welcome relief to some folks so I do not begrudge the effort but when you get into the nitty gritty of it you can see that it's giving back to the things that Tories have just recently took away. So what has the man-child-in-chief done that shows that he is actually spitting the dummy? Well, the fact that more than half the people don't trust him and probably don't like him, see him as a liar and cannot believe that he will not resign, he has to do something to protect himself from the next pantomime about to land in a couple of weeks. And that's the Standards Committee. They will decide if he deliberately misled the House and lied to his fellow MPs and in turn the people of these lands. We as outsiders to Westminster can see it's pretty obvious that he did. According to the ministerial code, he would have to resign if he was found to have lied to the House. He has proven that he will not step down due to Partygate, so now he is doing everything he can to prevent himself from being forced out and he's actually done it. So how has he done it? He has rigged the rules of the ministerial code in his favour. He and his fellow ministers can now run amok through the political processes of the House of Commons with impunity. Not only has he changed the code, but Johnson has also rewritten the foreword to the code, removing all the references to honesty, integrity, transparency and accountability. If you do not consider that we are marching into a dictatorship, then understand what he has done is one of the final pieces in the puzzle. The rest of the pieces are press in their pockets, anti-protesting laws, draconian police and sentencing legislation, outrageous immigration and asylum laws which are there to appease the right wing and the racists, voting reforms alienating the majority of those that would vote against them due to the requirement for photographic ID to be able to vote, changing the voting boundaries in areas to allow more Tory seats and then keeping us all under control with a constant cost of living and fuel price crisis. And now, rigging the rules so they're accountable to no one. I don't care if you are shouting ferries, ferries, train strike, SNP, bah! I don't care if you want to stand there and get all union on me about Scotland not being able to afford independence. With this sort of behaviour, Scotland cannot afford the union, figuratively and literally. Remember that hard Brexit we didn't vote for? There is not one thing that the Scottish government has done that is even remotely close to what the man-child-in-chief has done. Scotland mitigates the heartless measures that Westminster enforce with a budget that requires balancing by law every year when we receive around half the revenue back from what we have actually sent to the Treasury. If you want to be a Johnson apologiser, if you want to be a Tory sycophant, then that's up to you. You can stick with voting for people that live and breathe corruption all you please, but don't expect things to get any better if you do, and don't expect it to get better if he resigns, because you will just get another clown in leadership, lacking in integrity, but just better at hiding it. I shall continue to call them out for their egregious stinking behaviours that we can all see clearly and easily. I will still fight for a Scotland that many more people have woken up to understanding will only come about with independence, with everything that's going on. Are you yes yet? Thank you for listening. Goodbye and good luck.